Welcome and in this video I will be talking about how you can handle bounces effectively and what are the fixes for SMTP bounce error codes. Before getting started I would recommend to check the link in the description which might uh, help you out with this tutorial and the solution for the bounce code and their fixes. Let's begin with uh, an example of for bounce handling. So sending out uh, email to large users are always helpful if your bounce rates are low. But sending emails with the bounce rate more than 5% is a concern. And if this 5% is increased to 10%, then this is a serious concern and it needs to be addressed as soon as possible. If you are sending emails with the higher bounce rates, then, it, then this can impact your domain reputation. And IP addresses which is associated, it is recommended to weekly check the reputation of your sender domain and IP address to ensure your email practices complete, compile with uh, industry standards. While launching an email campaign, you need to anyway segregate uh, the contact list into two parts that is active users and inactive users. But the active list is always around 10% of total subscriber space. And that's the truth of the email industry. So uh, what is the solution and how one can send emails to inactive base and can put a control on the bounce rate? So there are several methods, but you need first to understand the basic of bounces and what are the different types of bounces and codes that need to be handled. So in this uh, tutorial, we will be uh, discussing how you can handle bounces and what are the different categories of error codes and what should you do for debugging and fixing from the root. What is bounce handling and uh, its complexity? When it comes to an email marketing, it is very vital or important to handle bounces and handling bounce is a process of planning what to do with the email addresses which has not accepted your message more than once. When you talk about sending an email campaign, it is not for a few emails, right? The list can have any number of email addresses from thousands to millions depending on the customer space. So let's assume that out of the total list, about 40% of the emails got bounced due to invalid email addresses. Then how will you debug those? Usually these bounces can be uh, of that soft bounce or hard bounce. This segregation helps you in moving these unwanted hard bounces which doesn't exist anymore. Every bounce back emails have a message explaining the reason for the bounce. So you might be thinking then uh, why it is not easy to debug and fix the problem. Right. Uh, I will say no. Uh, by reading and fixing issues won't work out for the long span of time. So we need to interpret uh, the simple issues but when it comes to technical issues and it comes uh, when we are talking about one to one or one to few emails it's all about uh, reading those bounce backs and fixing the issues now each bounce back message contains an smtp error codes and its description so either you have to learn this code and write a program to handle this uh, issues or uh, you, you might choose an email service providers who already have maintained such kind of uh, strong bounce handling capabilities like uh, PepiPost does uh, do with all the campaigns sent via PepiPost. So almost all ESP handle their uh, handle this flow their own they have their own protocol to interpret these bounces and act upon those. So it is important to choose the right ESP who has the right set of algorithm to catch these bounces in real time. Now let's figure out what kind of SMTP codes go with the bounces. Usually when we uh, move to an SMTP codes, the SMTP codes and HTTP codes are, share the same standards. For example, uh, one axis are informational, two axis are success, three axis are redirectional, four axis are per persistent failures and five accesses are permanent errors. So in case of bounce, we will only focus four axes and five axes. So uh, you can read out these bounces and errors 
this would have uh, you you might see these kind of errors within your reverted mounts backs and these are the reasons for example i will go through one or two in between so let's assume this error code 452 4.2.2 mailbox full so the error reason is an email was not given to an recipient mx server because the recipient's mailbox was full so what was the what was the solution for that these emails can be delivered again after some time and uh, if still you are facing the issue then you might contact your recipient's uh, recipient and ask to free up some uh, space by removing unwanted emails similarly if we find, if we move to this one that is 555.2.1 the email account is unreachable now this error shows that the recipient address may be removed or temporarily disabled so what you should do so you sh you should check with the recipient or ask for an alternative channel uh, to con communicate for uh, product updates or services as per your need or ask for an alternate email address which is valid and in use similarly there are few modes you can go through all uh, and check out what all things you need to figure out and fix for this video uh, we will conclude like uh, bounce handling is equally important as creating a good looking customer engaging email campaign understanding bounce error is easy but fixing those might be troublesome so it is always recommend to use a right email service provider who has right technology right set of uh, algorithms and process in place to handle all such kind of issues if you use your own smtp to send email then you have no option apart from going deep inside the bounce reports i hope this tutorial was useful in sharing information about uh, handling bounce effectively and i would love if you guys feel free to share your experience below in the comment section thank you